Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So we are now at the end of 2021. Another year has come and gone, and with that, I always like to take a look every year at Cartoon Network's year in review to see what is the good they did this year, what is the bad, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's take a look back at Cartoon Network in the year 2021. So first and foremost, this year was a big year of change for Cartoon Network. They completely restructured the way the channel works. We obviously added Cartoonito as a new block onto the channel, which is part of the bad for this year. Cartoonito takes up way too much time on the channel, leaving little to no time for Cartoon Network, with Adult Swim getting majority of the airtime on the channel. So that is definitely one of the bad parts of this year. Like I said before in other videos, Cartoonito isn't an inherently bad idea. I get it. You want to introduce your properties to a younger audience so that when they get to the age where they're actually ready to watch Cartoon Network, they'll already be familiar with your properties but the way they've handled it making it a block on Cartoon Network I don't think is a great move they could have you know made it its own channel but obviously for financial reasons they don't want to do that but if they were going to make it a block on a channel make it a block on Boomerang instead because they shouldn't be invading Cartoon Network with Cartoon Neato so obviously that is one of the major things that happened this year just surrounding the channel of Cartoon Network but what about shows what shows premiered this year and what shows came to an end so we we saw the premiere of three brand new series this year, three Cartoon Network originals, being Elliot from Earth back in March, The Fungies back in June, and Tig and Seek back in August. So Elliot from Earth has been missing in action, as I've talked about in other videos, since April. We haven't heard anything about this series, we don't know where it is, but the series itself was good. I enjoyed the first 16 episodes, and I think it has a lot of potential. As for the Fungies, as for Tig and Seeks, I haven't seen either of these series, I haven't watched a single episode. They haven't really piqued my interest, so I don't know much about them, but those are also two series that premiered this year. In addition to that, we saw the conclusion of two series this year. We saw the end of the Ben 10 reboot back at the end of March and beginning of April of this year. We saw the premiere of three special events for the Ben 10 reboot, and they were obviously, so they had mixed reception. Some people enjoyed some of them, other people didn't enjoy some of them. So the Ben 10 reboot ended, and we're left wondering what is the future of Ben 10, and we'll get into that a little bit into the expectations for 2022 when I make that video. But we also saw the end of Infinity Train, one of the more recent fan favorite series to come out of Cartoon Network. And this obviously is part of the bad for this year. It wasn't a good idea to cancel Infinity Train because especially the reason they gave that the show doesn't have any child entry point. Guess what, Cartoon Network? It's not meant for kids. So yeah, unfortunately, we saw the conclusion of Infinity Train earlier this year. In addition to that, on the HBO Max side, we saw the end of Adventure Time Distant Lands with the return of Finn and Jake and an episode following Peppermint Butler going to wizard school. We obviously know that this isn't the end of Adventure Time with the announcement of Fiona and Cake coming at some point in the future. And also, speaking Speaking of announcements, there were plenty of them this year. We have a lot of new series to look forward to coming to Cartoon Network and HBO Max, with some of them premiering in 2022 and beyond. So there's a lot to look forward to, and Cartoon Network definitely does have a bright future when it comes to the show's front. But speaking of those shows, what series were supposed to come this year, but we didn't get? So two series that were had a premiere date for 2021 were Unicorn Warriors Eternal and We Baby Bears. We got neither of these series. We Baby Bears we know is coming very soon. Specifically on January 1st will be its premiere date. Unicorn Wars Eternal is still missing in action at this point. We do not know where that series is. And I will get into all of this more in my expectations for 2022 when it comes to Cartoon Network. But yeah, that is a look back 
at the year 2021 in the world of Cartoon Network. It was definitely a big year of change, some for the better and some for the worse. But let me know in the comments section below what you guys thought about 2021 for Cartoon Network. Did you like what you saw from Cartoon Network? Were you a little bit disappointed in the reveals and in the shows that we saw premiere this year? Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.